Hi there, it's Clive here again, and today we are talking about this, which is the Niwa NW800 condenser microphone. I think it's Niwa. Uh, it's a sort of a, it's just a, a cheap Chinese brand. You can get them on Amazon and eBay. I've seen them around and they come in various different packages. And it's super cheap. It's a super cheap microphone. But the question is, is it any good it's, uh, as a cardoid microphone? For those that don't know, a cardoid microphone is a microphone that, uh, concentrates on picking up the sound from here so where I talk into it um, from around here and less so around here so in theory uh, you should be able to sort of hear me very clearly here obviously but if I talk around here you should be able to be slightly less a nice shot of my bald head there that is a condenser uh, microphone this is a super cheap version the question is is it any good so without further ado let's start with the unboxing and then I'll take you through some thoughts that I have uh, and also some things that I think you're going to need uh, to get real value out of the um, sound and the microphone generally so without further ado let's crack on with that unboxing okay so this is the newer NW800 condenser microphone kit and let's see what we get in the box here okay in the box you get this XLR to a 3.5mm uh, jack, which to be honest, we're not going to be using because this is not going to be much good to you because you need a sound card to plug it in and you need phantom power. So I've got a proper connection here, uh, XLR to XLR, so a male to female XLR cable and we'll be using that. That doesn't come with the kit, but I bought it separately. So then we've got a little sort of windshield thing here for the mic. Take away that sibilance and the pa 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 and the ka 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 um, sounds. Also comes with a shock mount, pretty standard shock mount here. I'll just get it out of the packet. There we go. Feels quite uh, robust and, and sort of well made, this shock mount. And of course the beauty is it's sort of a universal size shock mount. You've got a standard thread in here and this thread will come out as well if you've got a slightly larger thing to screw it onto. And uh, as I say, it's a standard size so you can put other mics in there. And then here is the mic itself. It feels uh, quite plasticky with an aluminium top there and the condenser mic is somewhere in there. That's the main bit there. And then the XLR connection goes in there. I mean, it, you know, it feels cheap, but it's probably a good entry level mic if you're sort of getting into podcasting or broadcasting or whatever, YouTubing, etc. Comes with a kind of welcome pack and standard warranties, nothing much in here and a warranty card here if you want to go and sign up and uh, register your purchase as it were basically that's what comes in the box okay so there that's the unboxing you can see i've put the little uh, windshield on it here the wind barrier so hopefully that will uh, improve and take out some of that sibilance and the pa -pa -pa and the cuz -cu as they say but anyway so as you see in the box, what comes in the box isn't necessarily um, the best thing to get the, the most use and effect out of what is a very cheap microphone. And not denying that, there are obviously um, much better microphones. And for, you know, another sort of hundred odd dollars, whatever, or $80, you're going to get a much improved microphone. But this is not what um, this is all about this is a budget entry-level microphone for those who maybe just want to improve the quality of their microphone of their recordings of their YouTube videos or their switch streams or mixer, mixer streams etc um, rather than using their camera uh, built-in mic on their camera on their webcam etc so if you're looking to upgrade from there then that's what we're talking about budget entry level for people sort of getting into this sort of you know youtubing or as i say streaming and things like that given the price we're talking about you know 16 pounds so we're talking what 20 20 20 to 25 dollars maybe and that came with a shock mount now i've seen versions where it comes with packages so you get like the scissor arm uh, this didn't come with the scissor arm this is my scissor arm the scissor arm uh, the shock mount maybe a pop filter as well oh and some with the 48 volt phantom power which you will need uh, and that's very crucial. I bought myself this, which is the Euphoria UMC22 audio file 2x2 USB audio interface with a, and it's a pre-amplifier. So it has a 48 volt phantom power uh, built into it, but it's also a preamp and I can control the gain 
um, of the microphone uh, using the various knobs on the front of, of here. Now the beauty of this um, is again that wasn't too cheap that was about 34 pounds or whatever and the beauty is if I should decide I want to upgrade on this microphone then obviously I've still got that pre-amplifier there with the 48 volt phantom power that I'm going to need for any kind of sort of decent cardoid microphone but hopefully you can tell from the sound uh, uh, especially if you watch my other videos that there may be there is a slight improvement uh, I'd like to think there is the intro and outro of this video um, I used this plus uh, some noise reduction and some compression in post-production and the voiceover for the unboxing I just used this uh, with no substantial post-production on on the sound so that just gives you a sense um, I'll give you let's talk through some of the the main stats for those that people are, you know are interested the specifications as it were in the very limited paperwork that comes with it and it's sort of badly translated English here super card oil condenser microphone omnidirectional so the frequent frequency response is 20 Hertz to 16 kilohertz so um, that's not a massive range and more expensive microphones will give you that uh, bigger range so give you more resonant sound slightly more bassy sound for, for those that like it a richer sound perhaps sensitivity is uh, minus 38 decibels up to plus 2 decibels and the equivalent noise level not sure what that means but I know people watching this will want to know is uh, 16 decibels and then you've got a little chart here I'm gonna hold this up you probably won't see it I might put it on the screen so you can see but uh, it's got a frequency response curve here um, and then the omnidirectional um, sort of breakdown here so as I say you talk in this side and it should cut out the noise there until you get a much sort of clearer overall sound quality um, they're the main stats I'll put them in the description below and some information up on the screen so you can see but generally who's this for well this is this is an entry-level microphone as I said it's very very basic there are much better microphones out there but given the price if you just want to experiment see what improvement you might get from a cardioid microphone then as I say $20 16 pounds depending on on what you buy yes you'll have to buy the other stuff but you're going to need the other stuff if, if you're going to get a more expensive um, microphone anyway so I'm not worried about that 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 aspects but as I say you're going to need a an XLR to XLR cable make sure you get that but generally if you're first getting into this or looking to improve the sound quality of as I say your your videos rather than just using the built-in microphones in an echoey room etc etc or you want to get into podcasting and you're just starting out then this is a great microphone to start with um, I think it's improved as I say my video qualities and the audio and I'm using it all the time now and it's given me more confidence when I in post-production in I use audacity for the recording to do a bit more editing and cleaning up of the sound etc etc um, so yeah I think given the money um, that's why I'm recommending it really because it is so cheap you will probably upgrade um, but I'd say it's such an entry-level price that I don't think it's a uh, a great thing you know, if you can't afford an 80 pound 100 pound microphone then hey let's start with this see how you go so those are my thoughts on it generally i hope you like that i hope you found it interesting if you have any questions you want to know more about my setup it's all about a budget setup i'm building this as i go bit by bit bit getting things on the cheap where i can and just sort of seeing how how i can build up the kit that i need to sort of make youtube videos like this etc and hopefully improve on the sound quality and the picture quality as we go and the lighting and all those sort of things so i hope you found it useful check out my review of the euphoria uh, umc22 that i'll be doing as i say a budget entry level preamp but really good one i think uh, and i do a separate review of that please put your comments down below please like subscribe uh, thank you for all the subscribers uh, so far much appreciated I hope you're liking the content I'm going to be more content uh, very shortly and until such time as that occurs goodbye